Hello everybody, welcome. Today I want to cover the package contents of the Compact IRO 8000. This time computer history was very interesting because it was the top of the PDA craze. You had palm tops, you had pocket PCs, and they were fighting for a market where, well, phones are not good enough for people's computing needs. So you need a separate device only for that and PDA stands for Personal Digital Assistant. So that will explain a lot of what you see here. Included with the handheld PC is a copy of Outlook 2000. The whole office package was very expensive and Microsoft used to sell Outlook separately at the time. And well, one of the main goals of your companion PC would be for you to be able to track your projects, what you do, uh, on the go, right? And to communicate. So when you don't need a full workstation, then you can come and open Outlook, send emails on the go, synchronize later on, and etc. And that's where Outlook 2000 comes into the picture. As you can see, this is from the times that Microsoft would ship these booklets with their software. And uh, I remember even Windows 95 had it and I read a million times, it helped me a lot get better with computers, yeah? So, when you go in, it's gonna give you some tips on how to use Outlook uh, in case you haven't done it before. So, in the beginning, it introduces you to the functionality and what you can do with it. And you get instructions on how to install if you are new with computers, how to customize it and so on and uh, even ex explains like company features like you know sharing tasks and so on and you can delegate calendar entries help plan a meeting and hi highlights the new features and also helps you collaborate online by sharing inf information publicly explains how the integration with office works and that you can create plugins and visual basic applications to increase the functionality, right? And then, afterwards, we have an instruction how to use Active Sync. So at the time this device was released, Windows 2000 was not out, so it's designed for Windows NT and Windows 98. And here, well, and that's why the interface reminds Windows 98, yeah? You have uh, information what has changed, how to get active sync running and so on. Probably one of the last periods in history where I would actually get a printed registration card. So here it is. And I may even send it to Microsoft as a joke and see if they're gonna send me something. Some legal blah blah about warranty for Australia, New Zealand, and Papua New Guinea. Information on handheld PC version 3. And actually this comes with 2.11, so the document doesn't really match what I have. Um, again, now licensed documents are all uh, online, yeah? Then there is a copy of uh, Outlook 2000 for Windows NT 98. Of course, it works with Windows 2000. It came just a little bit before um, Windows 2000 was released. And then we have uh, ActiveSync 3. This designed for Windows NT 95 and powered by Windows CE. Uh, and this, is, this doesn't go on the uh, mobile device itself, but you install it on your computer. And here, the Windows CE uh, OEM product ID. Now we have here the compact documentation, so for the hardware, yeah? Some software and online manuals. Uh, we're gonna explore this later. Then we have the manual itself. Uh, actually, not the manual, just uh, how to get support, yeah? Uh, 
global phone numbers, European phone numbers. And this will be cool. So option information. There is uh, on the bottom of the device, we have this card that shows a list of accessories in here. It's probably more detailed. Let's see, yes, so you can expand RAM up to 64 megabytes. This part ID for the modules. Have compact flash cards at the end of the day. The largest one available at the time were 64 megabytes. Uh, I'm going to install 32 gigabytes and it seems to work fine. The smart card is included, so you can use it to log in without having to type your password. And if you can actually enforce a login policy that requires both the smart card and, and the password, that will be great. Extra EC adapter so you don't have to carry yours around. Automotive adapter, a docking cradle, printer cable, Y cable for the PS2 port so you can connect a mouse and keyboard at the same time. I'm gonna try to use a serial mouse but I'm not sure it's gonna work. Another battery pack, standard promises from six to seven hours and extended 10 to 12 hours is a very respectful battery life up to this day. Yeah, only five to six years ago, laptops are also lasting that long. The backup battery, this is just AAA, so I'm gonna replace it myself. The sync cable, that uh, it comes with one, but you have multiple computers, you don't need to carry your cable around a strap, a carrying case, a portfolio case, and some service options. And the quick start guide, it's very thick, right? Uh, and it explains how to get it running. So contents of the package, first setup, running the setup wizard, synchronize with your PC, Safety and comfort guide. This is rare to see these days. It will basically, yeah, it's ergonomy tips. So by the time, uh, at the time actually companies pretended to care about us, then you have the information how to set up your computing environment, a huge CRT screen like a boss, and how even to Listen to your colleagues and build the relationships at work. How to sit and how to stand. Finding comfort for your legs. How to position your screen, keyboard and mouse. How to use your phone. how to use a notebook computer, how to get support for the compact, and that is for Asia and China, active sync information, travel safe, that makes it easier to reconfigure your modem when you travel, no one uses a modem anymore, so it doesn't matter, although why we will use it, and license agreement for the UK. And we have the smart card. I haven't used it yet or unboxed it. It seems that once I do it, I will never be able to get it back. So in theory, I can record my password to this smart card and use it to uh, log into my computer. And once I do it, I'm actually gonna try to use it on my Mac as well to see if I can um, log in with the password, or use the smart card with the credentials together. Let's see. Just a compact, com compact card. On the back it says CryptoFlex. There's a web page I'm gonna try to access it later. Belongs to Compaq. Really cool. I had the Lenovo that had a slot for this. Let's try see what happens. And that's it, so. 
on the next video I'm gonna go through all the features of the device and install all the companion software I have a VM ready for it and yeah I hope to see you guys next time